Today's video is on the ultimate guide of safety in Cape Town. Is Cape Town as dangerous as they say it is? My name is Dean Parman and you're watching TravelVids.TV. Subscribe to our channel if you want to know all the information you need about the top destinations in the world as well as how to learn how to make your own videos. Today I am driving to downtown Cape Town city center to talk about a very interesting topic, safety. In this video we'll be looking at the topic safety on the roads, other forms of transport, how to get around in the inner city on foot, your street etiquette and where you stay. Not too long ago we did a video on Long Street to highlight what there is to see and do in this place. And this video are quite a lot of negative attention based on the fact that it's a controversial subject about the safety of being in the center of Cape Town. Now if you come here you'll notice that the waterfront has got like 26 million uh, visitors every year and that's purely because people feel safe when they go there. You gotta remember Cape Town is a growing city. It's a developing country in a third world environment but it has a lot, it has a lot of poverty on the one side and it has a lot of wealthy people on the other side all coming together in this melting pot of cultures. Like many other tourist destinations, there are going to be opportunistic crimes and you need to prepare for these. These are some of the things we're going to look at today. So, today's video is the ultimate guide to being safe in Cape Town. Traffic is definitely getting worse. Oh. Topic number one is safety on the roads in Cape Town. Driving in Cape Town can be a little bit uh, tricky sometimes, especially if you're not used to driving in Africa. We have a little bit of a Wild West thing that goes on here, but the interesting thing is people are very friendly. We like to greet, we like to hoot, there's people crossing the street, there she's waving at me and I'm smiling at her. So we, we tend to drive quite aggressively but we're very friendly. So it's a very confusing thing in the beginning. You, you, you make a mistake and people will hoot at you, but if you look up and smile, they'll smile and wave back at you. So just remember to always relax when you're driving in Cape Town. Um, and, and just be very aware and very focused. And when you're driving in town, just lock your doors, make sure they're locked all, at all times. Now, although we have lots of rules on our road and road signs and stop streets and that it's always best to rather judge things on behavior so look at how the person in front of you is driving leave enough space it's about being able to read what you see rather than listening to the rules of the road I know that's very hard for some Europeans to do because the rules are everything but yeah, you see people just doing their own thing and that's exactly what it is people do their own thing but just pe they're friendly be patient be courteous be kind and uh, did I mention be patient <laughs> Get out of your way! let's go into Long Street turning into Long Street remember also in South Africa we use the metric system our speeds are kilometers not miles so if you see a sign that says 60, it means 60 k's an hour, not 60 miles an hour. Another thing to consider that is that if you're on holiday and you're going to have a few drinks, there is a sort of a low tolerance to alcohol. It's a 0.05% acceptable. But my advice is to you, if you're going to have drink, a drink or two, even one drink, just don't drive. There are enough taxis and buses and public transport solutions today to avoid having to ever having a drink and needing to drive anywhere so be responsible don't drink and drive in the city it's not worth being in a situation where the cops are going to query you and sort of ask uh, have you had enough just zero tolerance go with the zero tolerance rule um, as I just said there's a lot of other options and I'll go straight into that next that is the next topic let's talk a little bit about public transport in Cape Town now, prior to the World Cup in 2010 it didn't exist well it used to exist but it kind of fell apart sorry in past since 2010 I must admit our public transport has been up and up and up and just improving every year uh, we've had the new my city bus implemented which has uh, got new developments all over Cape Town but one of the my most trusted use is with an uber but you can also use trusted brands like the one next to me now this is unicab 
Um, oh, music. The My City is a great daytime use thing. Even though they run into the nighttime, I'd rather suggest other modes of transport by the evening just because of the reliability. But in the daytime, get yourself a My City bus card and you can tap in and tap out um, of different locations in and around the city bowl specifically. My preferred method of transport lately, if I'm not driving myself, is definitely with Uber. The reason for this is that you don't have to negotiate the price while you're uh, on the fair or afterwards the fare is given to you before you leave and there are no questions asked so it, it's pretty much you can feel safe that you're not getting cheated out of whatever the fare is and also it's a way to um, make sure that you are getting the right person a reliable person so if it says that Bongani is going to fetch you and you check on the phone it says Bongani you get in the car you say hi are you Bongani he usually asks for your name too and everybody's good to go so it's definitely a way to feel very safe and that you're not going to get cheated. One tip with the My City is make sure you know the routes because sometimes it can be a little bit complicated connecting two parts that are actually within walking distance but you end up taking a bus all the way around town. So take a bit of time to make sure you learn the routes where you want to go and also ask people. Ask the people. They'll they'll help you and get you to the right place as quick as possible. If you're in the city you gotta chill. You gotta you gotta relax like for real. The city is very safe. Um, we got our guys the CCIDs uh, the Ili saw the CT and whatever. The, if you feel like you you're not safe or you feel like you you need some directions or, or whatever, talk to these guys. These guys they got everything. They know the city. They run the city and everything. Okay. And of course you get guys like this. You just walk past and they're like, yeah. yeah. So people in people in Cape Town are super friendly and always ready to help. And you just so gotta yeah. open your mouth and ask ask for help don't be afraid to talk to people you just walk into people everywhere this is Rainier Cape Town okay, small by okay. the way <laughs> other people <laughs> Cape Town is small yeah. how are you doing? is Cape Town safe? it's very safe as do you, you can see do you feel unsafe? not at all not at all <laughs> <laughs> as I was saying before uh, I got interrupted there by Rainier um, the people in the city are very keen to help all the time uh, if you feel unsure about anything, you can uh, ask people walking in the street. The chances of them helping you are super high. Uh, or you can just walk into a shop and any shop assistant will definitely point you in the right direction, answer any questions you have. You have to learn to break that fear of speaking to strangers if you have that. Um, it'll definitely get you through anywhere in the world. Being vocal will keep you safe. One funny thing that can happen is you'll be in a street like this that's quite busy and booming and you take a corner and next thing you're in a spot where there's like nobody. And just always remember, take a few steps back and go back to where you were a few moments ago. It's, uh, it's always good to be where other people are. A few small handful tips uh, on street etiquette. And this again will count for anywhere, not just Cape Town but I see a lot of um, younger people especially, but also especially ladies, love to keep their cell phone in their back pocket hanging halfway out. I know it's a status and a trend and a cool thing, but it's not something you do when you're walking through a town. Pack it away and make sure it's concealed, you don't see it. And if you do bring it out, have a quick look around you to say, you know, nobody's seeing me do this or make, I'm making it so obvious. And then keep an extra little grip on it. Just when you're busy and you're not looking up and your focus is on your phone, make sure that you've got an extra hand holding it a bit tighter so that if somebody comes past and they went, you're not going to lose it because it's literally that easy. If you hold it like this, somebody can just take it away. But if you hold it with purpose and you look once or twice, you are instantly eliminating yourself as a target for any type of theft. The same will go for your wallet. Do not flash it around, don't flash your cash. Keep it uh, well hidden. And about cash, I do want to say one thing. Avoid carrying cash. You don't need to have it in the city. You can use a card at almost every place. Even most of these market stalls these days have got a card facility. How much should you carry? I would say never carry more than 500 to 1,000 Rand. That way, if it does get stolen or go missing, it's not the end of the world and it's enough money to buy yourself a coffee, something small to eat and get yourself out of any tricky situation like 
if you need to grab a public transport or a taxi or something, you can pay for that straight away. But cashless is the way to go. You're eliminating more risks of being a target that way. And if you do find yourself in a situation where you do actually need some cash short notice, there are ATMs at almost every corner in this town. So again, ask somebody to point you in a direction to go draw some cash. There'll be one within a block of wherever you are for whatever reason you need it. And how can I forget? Cameras. When you're visiting a city, very often you'll have a camera in your hand. Uh, if it's not your phone these days, but if you still have a DSLR camera or a bigger camera, make sure it has a strap on it and make sure you have that strap around your wrist once or twice. It's just, again, it's a safety precaution that if somebody sees you with that sort of strap on your wrist, the chances of somebody trying to go for that are reduced exponentially. If you have it loose and you're holding it down like this, somebody can come from behind and grab it from you. The point is to be vigilant, observant, and make sure that other people see you seeing them. Most opportunistic crimes are perpetrated to people who are not vigilant and are not observant. So all you really got to do is take these tiny precautions to just think a little that if somebody's looking at you and you're not aware of them seeing you, that you look like, oh, that's not an easy target, I'll rather go for the next one. A small tip to remember is that we drive on the left side of the road. So when you are crossing a road, you need to look right. Obviously though, in this country, as I've mentioned earlier, there's a little bit of a lawlessness thing going on. So regardless of which side the traffic's coming from, look left and right, always, because we have one-way streets and also people go the wrong way often. So just make sure you're protecting yourself by looking both ways multiple times during, before you cross the street and while you're crossing the street. Another thing is don't rely on the little green men that you see. I'll show you one now. They don't always work properly. Sometimes even when it's green, you've got cars passing from the one corner. So make sure that you are looking for cars rather than the street rules. This applies for the second time. If there's no cars, you can go for it you will not get a fine for jaywalking in this town. Is Cape Town safe? No, it's like any place, you know. You go like um, New York, you go uh, Mombasa, you go wherever. There's always going to be some crooks around that's going to be wanting to, you know, have some long fingers and pickpocket and stuff. And it's in Cape Town, it's the same like that. But that is not prominent like uh, a daily occurrence. It is like something that's that will happen to those people that's not so conscious of their surroundings, that's not so friendly with the locals, that come here with their superior attitudes thinking that the world belongs to them. But if they sort of sort of mix with us, they will see that we're just normal people and we're quite friendly too. Those of us that were born here in the mother city and who's been here for a while. And we're very honest people. So I don't see where the perception is coming from that that Cape Town is unsafe and stuff because Cape Town is one of the safest cities that you can find and I've been all over South Africa. A very important tip in Cape Town is to also check where your accommodation is and do a little bit of research before you actually book it. There are a lot of people taking opportunities with Airbnbs that are in the middle of the city which is not the end of the world during the daytime but obviously when it counts the most in the evening time you're Airbnb might be in the central business district, which is not a place I can necessarily recommend. Sure, you can go from the door straight to your taxi, and it's not like you're going to get gunned down in the street. It's, it's, a, it's a safe place. But to avoid any risks, I wouldn't suggest living in, in a city. Just outside and around in places like Friedehoek or Gardens or Tumbuskloof, you're much better off. Hey? I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a musician also. <laughs> Make sure that the reviews tell you exactly where you are and not that you end up in a place that you don't feel comfortable. And I have worked as a tour guide in the past quite a lot. We've had to pick up guests where in the daytime it's a perfectly normal spot. But the next morning they'll come through and they'll go, Dean, I didn't know this place would change so much at night. 
and the reality is like in many cities in the world once again things do change at night and the, the cityscape goes from a vibrant buzzing little spot to a scary place sometimes. An example of this would be I'm in the park right now in the company gardens right in the middle of town. It's beautiful, I'm holding a camera in my hand, I feel safe. I wouldn't be here at night. So it's very important to understand where you can and can't be day versus night. Let's close that window so you can hear what I'm saying. Listen, I don't want you to jump on the bandwagon and call me out and say like, oh, but Dean from Travelvid said like nothing would ever happen to me in Cape Town. No, I'm telling you that something can happen to you anywhere and we are in a city that has crime stats that are higher than we would like them to have. So the point is this video is to say that you must be vigilant. You have to look out for yourself. Don't arrive here and think you're you're in the safest place in the world. A lot of people will tell you that and it's not entirely true, but you can be very safe if you pay attention and if that's not for you well then maybe Cape Town isn't exactly for you wait let me let me let me get that right let me say that right then maybe the street level of Cape Town is not for you you can also come to Cape Town and sort of go from Camps Bay to the market and to your hotel and to the waterfront and then back to your hotel again and that way you'll be virtually untouchable safe um, but if you come into the street level and you want to experience the, the the downtown the markets the stuff that I just walked through then you've got to be also be prepared to be vigilant and if, if you're not going to do that then you might be a target it, it's a very strong reality and I want to leave you on the note as well what happens if you are a target if somebody does approach you let me just say one thing your cell phone or your wallet is not worth your I don't want to say your life but is not worth your safety so if somebody does come at you give them what they want and just walk away and you will most likely be unharmed in the situations so in summary pack your money away hold your cell phone tight look around you at all times if somebody's looking at you you look back at them and you smile the best thing you can do is make somebody aware that you're seeing them that is the biggest break when somebody avoids eye contact because you're scared of intimidation you are more vulnerable look at them look people in the eye greet them be friendly be forward be bold ask questions enjoy Cape Town so if you found this video useful subscribe to our channel hit the little bell so that you can be notified when the next video comes out we will see you in the next one and now you can watch the long street video i'll put it in the end card the one that was the cause for making this video in the first place i'm out ciao